Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll dive into the exciting world of platform event trigger flows in Salesforce. Uh, you might have gone through my previous videos on Salesforce where I have explained the different type of Salesforce, the different templates available in Salesforce. We have discussed about how do we create a record trigger flow. Uh, in though, uh, in one of the video we have discussed about how do we set up a scheduled flow. In in the one of our video we have discussed about how do we set up screen flows. So in this video we are going to talk about how do we set up a platform event trigger flow in Salesforce. So whether you are looking to automate real time processes, integrate systems seamlessly, or harness the power of event uh, event driven architecture. So this tutorial has got you covered everything as you require. So uh, at the end of this tutorial and then end of this video, in this video, you will be going to learn what platform event trigger flows are, how to configure them step by step, and we'll see uh, we'll see its functionality. We'll see it with the help of a real world examples to simplify the complex automation. So stay tuned to master this powerful feature and take your Salesforce skill to the next level. So let's make automation effortless. And yes, before we begin, uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my YouTube channel for more Salesforce tips and tricks. So let's get started. So basically, I'm talking about the platform, uh, platform event trigger flow, event driven trigger flow. So when we say platform event trigger flow is a in Salesforce is a type of flow that gets triggered when a platform event is published. So first of all, let me show you from where you can access this platform event trigger flow and how it is uh, and uh, uh, basically how you can create it and what's the functionality of it. So uh, when we navigate back, like uh, this is my Salesforce instance and in setup home, when I look for flows, when I search for flows under process automation and click on new flows. And when I click on new flows in the next screen, you will get an option called select template. So we have an option called either we can use a template or we can start from scratch. So I select start from scratch next. And here, there is a, uh, here it is available called, here we have platform event triggered flow. So what exactly this platform event trigger flow is? So as I mentioned, in, it's a type of flows that get triggered when a platform event will be published. Now, what exactly platform event is? What do you mean by platform event and what type of event? So in Salesforce, when we say platform event, let's suppose uh, will be uh, we execute a flow, but the flow, uh, the flow get failed. So platform event, uh, basically, uh, you can say uh, like I, I requested for uh, a flow to get executed, and there is some issue occurs in the flow, or uh, uh, basically I will be getting will be waiting for the request from the external sources from the external system, and based on the request, we will be going to perform any operation. So we would like to track that whenever we received an operation, whenever we receive the request from the external sources, and if we are uh, as a uh, within Salesforce, if we or if the Salesforce will be failed to process that request, then we will be with the help of the platform event triggered flow. We can perform some operations which always executes in backend. So platform event trigger flow it helps in lot of cases. Platform event trigger flows will be used to send the real time alerts to the system or users. Platform event trigger flow can be used for uh, to sync the data between Salesforce and the external system. And also we can use platform event trigger flow in order to uh, downstream the process or workflow based on the event occurs. So let's try to understand more with the help of an example. And for this, what I'm going to do, I am going to create a new flow here. I'm going to set up a new flow. So that will not be a platform event trigger flow. That will be a simple flow. And the scenario is that uh, that would be a screen flow. Actually, I'm going to set up a screen flow. And using that screen flow, we would like to add a new account. 
So here it is. And we would like to create a new account by using screen flow. So let me quickly set up a new screen flow. I'll say start from scratch, screen flow, create, and uh, yes. So let me see if the flow is already created. No, so I, uh, uh, no, I don't have any flow ready with me. So right now there is no, uh, there is no flow ready with me. So I wanted to add a new flow. So very quickly, I'm going to do that. So I'll just click and create a new screen flow. And I label this as screen one. And uh, I'll just quickly set the configure for footer. I'll just say height pause and height previous. This is all customization we'll be doing. And I label this as save record, save account or create account. And I just wanted to add two fields. One will be text and one will be phone number. So I just want to capture account name, account name. See, I'm not going to set this as a required one. And this one I set as phone number. So this also I set as phone underscore number. So now the scenario, the requirement is as soon as I click on this save account button, it should save the record within an account object. So I click here and I'm going to use create record. And I just write here, create new account. So I just wanted to add a record into an account object and map the fields to so screen one and account name. And for phone number, for account phone, screen one, phone number dot value. That's all. So this will help to save the record. So I just write here, flow to add new account. Now let's test this flow. So I'm going to activate this flow. Let me activate this flow. And I'm going to test this flow. So in order, to, in order to test it, let me click on run button. And uh, whenever I try to run this flow, whenever I try to create, the, whenever, I, whenever I try to run the flow, if I forgot to enter the account name, it will throw an error message. So now the business requirement is whenever an error occurs in the flow, so whatever error occurs in this flow, that error we want to track or we want to store or register that error within the log object, the error log object within this, uh, in this application. So, so that, uh, by, uh, we can use that error, uh, we can use that error, error log object in order to track that, that particular, uh, a particular error occur from which flow and how we are going to handle, what could be the issue and how to handle that error. So that I just, I mean, I just wanted to store that information and I want to capture that information in an object. So let me show you the object I'm talking about. Uh, so I've already shared the business requirement to you that whenever we create a new record by using this screen flow and if any error occur, so we would like to track that error within the custom error log object. So in this custom error log object, there are there are few files, for, there are few fields. The first is error ID, this will be an auto generated. Next is the error message and third is the error source. So error message, what type of error occur? and the error source that which flow trigger this error. So I would like to capture this by using event, uh, like platform event trigger flow. Now, uh, many of you can ask me a question that we can perform such operation directly by adding an fault method over here. We can add a fault path and within the fault path, we can add a new record from here. We can do that, we can create a record. But my concern is, that whenever an error occur, so like if the error occur with the flow, so I would like to instead of adding the D, instead of adding this fault path again, I just wanted to run such operation from the uh, from the platform event trigger flow with the help of that. So I just wanted to reduce the complexity and the number of operations. So let's begin and let's have a look. How do we create a platform event trigger flow? So in order to do this, I'll get back to my Salesforce setup option and I'm going to create a new flow. And in this flow, when we click on new flow and click on uh, start from scratch, so here I click on next and this time instead of uh, selecting screen flow or record triggered flow, especially the record triggered flow, I will be going to create 
uh, please, I will be going to select the platform event trigger flow. And as you can see, this platform event trigger flow launch when a platform event message is received. And this auto launch flow runs in the background. So I select the platform event triggered flow and click on create. Now, once I click on create, uh, the important thing is we need to choose the platform event. That means uh, on when this particular flow or this part, which on which platform event we would like to trigger this flow. So when you click here, you can get a list of the platform events. So these all are the different platforms, events or various platform events. And our objective is that whenever any issue comes in a flow, then any kind, uh, whenever an issue comes in any type of flow, then we would like to run the error. When, then we would like to run this flow. So therefore, I select here flow execution error event. So what does this mean? This means that whenever any problem occurs in any type of flow, whether it's a screen flow or it's a record flow, a record triggered flow or it's a schedule flow. This platform event will this platform event flow will run and it will perform the action. Whatever action we will be going to configure here, it will perform that action. So therefore, I said I said this and uh, let me close this. And now the eva. So basically, uh, we just specify the flow execution event uh, platform event, and now we need to set the action. What action we would like to perform? So our objective is to register our, our objective is to create a new record into custom error logs i need to do that so how do i do that now i click on plus and simply we say create record and i just write here register new log and we would like to create a new record into custom error log object so that's a custom error log object and in this custom error log object we got fields and uh, there is one field called custom error ID. That's an error ID. That's an auto generated the error message and the error source. So uh, basically the error message and the error source. So the error source is from which flow this error has occurred. So basically here we have to specify the flow name or the flow ID and the error message is whatever error occurs. So I scroll down and from here I'll select uh, triggering flow execution error event. Here's an option for triggering flow. When I execute this, whichever flow execute, I just wanted to display the error message. So I scroll down and there's an option called flow. Uh, the, there's, a, there's a field called error message, flow error message. And the error sources, the, uh, the error source will be the ID or the name of the flow. So here we have flow user ID. That's the user ID. When we scroll down, uh, we have flow version name. Okay. So as you can see, whenever we create a flow, we used to have a version name. So flow label process type. I just set here. Uh, I just select here and set flow ID. Let's say flow re replay ID, flow record ID. This is flow version ID, flow error ID. And I would like to display the flow ID. Yeah, so I'll say flow API. So I just want you to display the API name of the flow. So flow API. So what does this mean? This means whenever an error occur, it will display. Uh, basically, it is going to store the the name, the which uh, the name of the flow and the errors, uh, the error message. Save this, and I'm going to save this. So I just write here custom error flow platform event trigger and save this and yes we have to activate this so i'm going to activate it now and as you can see this there is no record exists in the custom error logs right now it's a blank one and uh, this is the flow which we added previously and i just wanted to run this flow and uh, let's check it out that once we when i try to submit a record whether okay, let's suppose I add an enter an account name, let's say test account, test account and phone number. And when I click save account, so basically the record added successfully. Let's go and check. So I'll just switch to accounts and test account. So that is the account added successfully. This is the test account. And uh, 
in same manner if i forgot to mention the account name and simply enter the phone number and click on save account so you can see an error occur now let me quickly go and check whether this error has been tracked or registered in that object or not so i'll just navigate back to the custom error log and uh, let's check it out all let me refresh this once So you can see now uh, when we try to add a record and it threw an error message on the flow. But if I, if we'll switch back to our custom error log and check it, a new record has been inserted successfully. And if I'll open this record, it's used to say that this error occurred when a flow tries to create record and so and so. And the the source is flow to add new account. So that's the way we can track the errors. The flow the error occurs while execution of a flow we can track the errors or the issues within a custom error log so that we can assign the issues to a team and try to resolve the issues as soon as possible. So that's the way uh, we can work on uh, platform event trigger flow, platform event trigger flow in Salesforce. So that's all in this tutorial, in this video. If you like this, you can post your comment in comment box. You can reach out to us on the given numbers and feel free to contact us or you can drop your email. And if you require any customized training on Salesforce, you can reach out to us. Thanks for watching everyone. Have a nice day. Bye.